Oh, what's good people? Welcome back again to another Newbie Craft episode 25 or 26, 27, 28. I actually don't know, but we're here in the shopping district because we need to go count our balls. Um, that didn't come out how I was. But yeah, let's go and count and see who's in the lead so far. Now we're just gonna fly over here. We're gonna start off with true, the true master himself, and he had one, one ball. Well, that but one is still one. All right, true is on one. So let's grab our chest out. All right, so he has three points. Okay, so we're gonna add three onto the board for him. So he is on five. He is on 58. All right, nice. 58 points. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Well done, well done. All right, next we have the leader himself, Mr. Nonya Biz, who is sitting comfortably on 337 points. Okay, got a good amount here. He hasn't got as many as I thought he has. I thought he would have had loads. I literally put so many Pokeballs out there, and I went to go try and find if there was any left, and there wasn't. So I thought he would have, so maybe somebody else has. Anyway, so he has 15 points there. Uh, can we? No, right. 15 points there. Uh, 15, 19, plus 8. So that is 27 points add it. So we need to change up his points here. So you can see 337 plus 27 points. We 330, 364 points. Nice. All right, cool. Let's add that. 364 points. Awesome. All right. Next we have Happy, who has, hasn't been on for a while. Actually, he was on the other day. Anyway, how many has he got? Let's open this up. And he... Oh, okay. Well, at least we know where they all went now. I honestly thought it was Heavy who had all them, but I guess not. Hey, okay. uh, this is going to take a while to add up. Uh, Holy moly. He has been busy. So so basically what he's done is he just come on and found the balls because he wants to steal all these diamonds. Nice. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Let's add up all these... Uh, points so far. All right, so adding up all those, he has fired another 228. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we have to remove that happy and replace that. He, oh, he was on 76. Yeah. All right, so happy is now on 304 points. Okay. Cool. Oh. All right, so he is second. He's definitely second. Cool. Okay, next we have the heavy potter himself. Let's see what he's like. Okay, he has found a, a good helping as well. Nice. Let's grab all of these. All right. And let's add all these up. All right, so adding all these up, he's got himself an extra 71 points. So where is he? He is heavy. Is there an extra 71 points. He was on 35. All right. 135. There we go. Points. Sweet. Okay, next we have, I believe this is Dragon, and Dragon, nice, he grabbed himself a few as well, awesome. So he's sitting on five, six, seven, eight points as well. So he's found himself eight points. All right, so where is his name? Uh, 41 plus eight, 49. Awesome, 49 points. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, <laughs> so. That's the point system all sorted at the moment. Uh, I need to go hide a few more balls out there. But while we're here, let's go check out our chum bucket store. See if we uh, need to restock anything. So let's just check out these. Nothing yet. No, 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 no. Here, no, here, and no. All right, awesome. So this is our diamond ore. Have we made any sales? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> we made quite a bit. Uh, that just made me choke. All right, we need to restock this. And we need to get ourselves hands on some more diamond ore. So, time to go back to the base because I am fed up of mining. More diamond, just constantly like strip mining. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to build myself a TNT diamond finding machine. And we're going to have to use that machine to fill up our shop now. So, let's head over back to the base and I'll show you guys what I've built. Oh, I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Woo! All right, so let's head over and let's head down here uh, into our cave. Can we get in? Uh, uh, out. Okay, I can't fly down. <laughs> all right, so this is the machine. This is the hole we've built out, taking away all of this. Well, I didn't do it, but the, the actual uh, <laughs> machine that I built did. It's quite far, as you can see. I ran out of rockets. I need more rockets. Please tell me I've got rockets. Do I have any rockets in here? Put that there. Uh, rocket box. Please, please, please. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Continue. You can see it rendering in now slowly. But yeah, this is a machine we decided to build. So how it works is, is very simple. Duplicates TNT, pushes it forward, and pretty much just blows anything in its way. So how are we going to show you? We'll just uh, have a little test right now. Click this button here. Well, right click on a note block. Gets duplicated and pushes everything forward one and boom, explodes. Now, the reason why we use ancient debris is because ancient debris has to be placed for the TNT to land. And it's the only movable blast proof object. So that's the reason why it works. 
But yeah, pretty much that's what we do. We just, uh, we got to check, make sure that there's no gravel or blocks in front of it. Because if there is, it will break. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look for any diamonds. Any diamonds as of yet? Do I have any torches on me? I do. Awesome. Because we do need to light up behind us and stuff and keep on lighting this. So that way no creepers explode <laughs> near this machine. Because that will not be good. So, oop, my bad. Okay, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, that's basically all we do. We just right click on here, push it forward a bit, and find ourselves some diamonds. Now, it may be a bit of a longer process, but it's more fun and you cover in a wider area. So what I need to do, I need to dig out all of this bit here and build this machine another 10 wide. So that way we're covering as much ground as possible. The only thing is I am not too sure. Hello, oh no, someone is here. The only thing is I'm not too sure because this needs to be primed when it's built and I'm scared that it's going to blow up. Anyway, if it does, it blows up, blows up. But yeah, that's what we're going to need to do. But pretty much just, yeah. Right click on this, push everything forward, and it'll explode. Now, if diamond does get exposed, and then then TNT blows it up, we still get diamonds, we just don't get the fortune on it, because it's basically exploded. But once I find diamonds, I just come along, and I grab it, pick it up, and then I add it to the collection. But that's probably what we're going to do in this episode. Probably going to build this another 10 layers that way. Maybe. I'm not, I, I'm not too sure. We'll see. But uh, yeah, obviously as well we're gonna have to clear any lava sources we see but that's pretty much it it's quite easy i'll show you what we found from digging out all of this so if we just come down here to the bottom it is a long tunnel but uh it's worth it uh keep on going <laughs> keep on going all right so i'll show you what we found so far that's what we found just in that tunnel so that's not so bad we should just add it may as well just add that there but yeah that's not so bad anyway so i'm gonna go start mining for a bit longer because there is a ravine that's in front of us. So instead of building this now, I'm going to push forward a bit and clear the ravine first and then extend the build. So I'll be right back, guys, and I'll catch you guys in a second. And let's see how many diamonds we find as well. Okay, so you know what I just realized? I don't have any ancient debris to expand. It. That's not very good now. So what I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to first, I need to get some rockets, but also I'm going to have to go ancient debris mining. So we're going to have to only expand the farm, well, the tunnel bore in the next, episode, which is not exactly great, but there is nothing I can do. I need ancient debris. However, what I am going to do is I'm going to build one of those tunnel bore machines inside the nether and see if it's actually efficient enough to like, build one. So that way, because I mean, we use TNT anyway and we just tunnel bore like well we just like you know mine and then we'll put a bunch of tnt down then light it and go away but this way you know it, it does cost quite a bit if, if i'm honest so this way if i just actually make a tnt tunnel board inside the nether it might actually work out better it may take longer but it may work out better so that's what i think i'm gonna do but in the meantime i do need to go back down here and grab some uh, diamond ores for the the chum bucket store because yeah we basically are out and I need to top it up. So let's go top it up. And uh, also let's check if we've got any posts. All right, so where, is, there we go, go over here. I was lagging a bit for some reason. I wonder if somebody's AFK in there. Yeah, I don't know. All right, anyway, let's uh, put the rest in here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And yeah, that should be good. Let's just uh, put these away in here just in case it do sell out again. But uh, have I checked if I've made any sales? Let's go have a look. This is one thing we haven't actually done. Let's go check if we've made any sales in here. Yep, nice. Six sales. Now, I do have ancient debris here. However, I'm not going to take that because that is the stock. But technically, it's not mine. It's the stocks. So, yeah. All right, let's have a look. Have we made any sales in here quickly? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, no, we haven't made anything cool. Oh, no, we made some sticky. There we go. Hmm, ancient debris and sticky. I guess somebody is making a tunnel bore as well. So, anyway, while we're here, yeah, let's check out the if we made any. Uh, yeah, we've got a post. Yeah, uh, what? Pizza? What? I don't, I don't get it. Huh? Pizza? I mean, I do like pizza, but why is help? 